what's good everybody man Dre Lamar I'm back at it with another one thank you for coming to the channel I do appreciate it man and while you're at it please go on and smash that like button and hit the subscribe man you know I say it a thousand times but I really mean it man and I appreciate everybody that's been joining man we up to 78 subscribers man <sighs> thankful man so at the same time we got a little problem with the Mustang man if y'all watched to the end of the last video I put up when I was swinging it, man, you can hear the power steering pump kind of. That thing was whining. So, it kicked the bucket on me. So, I got a new power steering pump down there on the ground, man. We're going to go on and pop that in. I ain't never did nothing like this before. But we going to figure this out together, man. So, go on and smash that like button. Hit the subscribe as usual, man. And let's get into it. Let's go. As you see, I already popped the belt off, man. Nothing to it. Put a little 3 8 right there in the tensioner. Pull it, take it on off. Man, I don't know about this thing. Look like that power steering wire down there is a little leaky, huh? Could have something to do with it. Maybe this black ass fluid could have something to do with it, huh? Who knows? Okay, so I used a crescent wrench to loosen this up. And with a little, uh, as you see, that thing is already moving. We ain't gonna, I don't want to leak, so. Next, took this, push this back, and now we just need to scoot the hose back and make a mess with all that power steering fluid coming out of the reservoir. All right, 100 hours later, got it out. Gave me hell um, getting that high pressure one off. Man, it's hard because there's not a lot of room to get to it. So yeah, but I ended up getting it off with a crescent wrench. Little pieces of quarters of turns at a time, but somehow I got it off. So here we go, I'm gonna throw it back on. I couldn't. Probably not gonna be able to show y'all because it's not a lot of room and I can't hold the phone and all that up under there So I guess I'll tap back in with y'all when I got it on Okay, we're all back together All four screws only thing I didn't do was this one which is holding this high pressure line on but It's because I tightened the one behind it And I didn't line it up perfectly. I'm not taking this back off again, man. It's so hard it's no room to do nothing. I ain't taking it back off, so hopefully it's Gucci like that. All right, guys, it's been a long time coming, but got that belt back on. So I guess I'll do that first start up with y'all live, man. I already then turned the. Uh, Thing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. As you see, it started pumping that dirty fluid back in there. So I probably have to flush some of that out. Sorry, neighbors, but we got fire up the stain. been said and done new uh everything's on belts on everything but only one issue is the high pressure line is still leaking so ah, that's it's just defeating me but at the same time i guess i 
I don't know, man. Part of me want to try some stop leak. Part of me like, frick, I'm going to have to take it back off and probably put some of that, whatever that white stuff is, you put around the thread to keep it from leaking. I don't want to have to do that, man. It's so hard to get that off. But anyway, man, thanks for watching the video, man. That's it for today. Go on and smash the like, hit the subscribe. We out of here, man.